Of course, with us is Your Royal Highness, the Queen of Mapilindo, Queen Maria Makiling, Helen Patima Nazaria Abdurraja, Josie Mulan, the Queen Elizabeth III, and to start our program this uh, Tuesday, here is Raja Muhammad Gamar Mamayasan Abdurraja, the Sultan of Zulu and North Borneo for the Tua. بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم لا إله إلا الله وهو دور سريك لو له الموت والحمد لله ويعني توا الله ربي كلي وهي الله لا إله إلا الله خليسا مهليسا ووارهم الرحيمين اللهم صل وسلم على سيدنا محمد وعلى آله وصحبه وبارك وسلم لا إله إلا الله حليك كل شيء فوضوه وبكل شيء وكير سبحانه لا يوالحمد لا إله إلا الله والله أكبر ولا خوف ولا قوة إلا بالله العظيم لا إله إلا الله أنت سبحانه لا إني كنت من الجالمين لا إله إلا الله حق كل مبين ليس كمثل وأسمي البشير لا إله إلا الله يا أجيد الجليل لا إله إلا الله لي سلم لي سلم ورحم الرحيم يا أنت المقصود من الجسد الأمانة الإسلام جهاد في سبيل الله جهاد في سهيد الله الأمانة الله في رسولك سيد الله لا إله إلا الله الله أكبر الله أكبر الله أكبر ولا حول ولا قوة إلا بالله أليرب والحمد لله رب العالمين. Yeah, Amen. And uh, of course, to formally start our program this evening, uh, we will back to Your Royal Highness, uh, Queen uh, Maria Makiling, Helen Patima Nasaria, Abdurrahman, Jose Mulan, Queen Elizabeth III, to talk about the ten point recommendation in this uh, documentary book that given to the President of the Republic of the Philippines as transitionary guide for the federal. Uh, Your Highness Queen, can you enlighten us about this book and what is that 10-point uh, recommendation so that the public will know about it? This is the documentary, 476 pages that um, we uh, Raja and I made us a way to prove to the world that this mission has a basis. So this book is given to the House of Senate, House of Representatives, DFA, so Department of Foreign Affairs, to the Royal ICJ, even to the trustee of uh, the Imayalep, Haji Murad, that is Haji Ad Raof, Daof. So, all of this book, this book is really very important because this is done on the premise that from preamble to the brief summary to the different uh, pages that has been given here is a very um, precise and done. The consistency. Yes, the consistency of the fight from day one that Raja Mamai and I really bank on how we are going to restore the kingdom of Lupasu. And, and to enlighten also our uh, listening public, uh, if I'm not mistaken, this mission started almost decades ago. Yes, uh, when Raja Mamai, of course, the union between Raja Mamai and I in 2009, that is the start of the mission. However, the really, the, the, the the moment that we have really to go from one place to the other and it started in Maguindanao that is in August 26, 2010. So uh, we made this as a premise uh, from the skeletal framework that we have done uh, to be able to have the government the privilege because that was the, really the height of the peace talk. So we give them the skeletal framework which even the, the framework agreement was derived. I could really guarantee that because I know that uh, our book 
and the land of Ligwas and Mars was the two principal bases done in their negotiation with the government of Malaysia. So, be uh, President Aquino that time. Yes, yes. So the time of President Aquino. So we were, because Anwar Aziz was uh, one of the, the sponsors of the framework agreement, and we were able to have in contact with them. In fact, I have seen before Adelis and uh, Attorney Ferrer in Impiana Hotel, yes, of the OPAPs. So they knew pretty well of who we are, Raja Mama and I. So this book is very crucial in dealing with this, especially at this point in time. So we, uh, yes, we are in a decade really fighting for the restoration of the kingdom because to be able to redeem the assets, the properties of the kingdom, they need to raise the grandson, the Sultan of Sulu and North Borneo, you know, no other than Rajamamay Gamar bin Abdul Gapar, Jamalul Kiram III. And uh, to start this, uh, regarding uh, this uh, 10 points recommendation can you can we discuss it uh the the ten points so that not only be but all of us especially not only in the government but the listening public to this uh ten points recommendation benefits of the filipino people and to the help of for the government this is the guide for the transition to federal yes uh the first point it was really done that the restoration of Lupus of United Kingdom, Sultanate of Sulu and North Borneo, of Article 42, the House Bill Concurrent Resolution in 42, that was done in April 28, 1950. Uh, that was the time of Nene Pimentel, of course, as the, the Secretary, and with the Prima Pache living witness, Sheriff Usman Dato Ismail Ali, Sultan Toron Lawan Dumaga, as the one as Sultan Muhammad Ismail Ikram. So he is alive. That's why I became strong in this mission because there is someone that really behind me, in front of me, side by side, and that is Ama Ali together with the twin. Commonly known in the Philippines as, as Ama Ali. Ali. Yeah, so as Ama Ali. So he was really the one who really sent me off in this mission. So I became a queen because of my union to the grandson of Sulu and North Borneo. Not your own. <laughs> not my own decision. Liking. This is not me. I've been running away from this for eight years. I'm not really, not to be... Uh, seen or I mean to be with Raja Mamai. So I defy you're, you're like a movie of Julia Roberts than a way bride. Yes, <laughs> yes of course. Uh, because you know perceived and projected that my life will be the object of all this character assassinations of all this uh, you know uh, your reputation is at stake. But once you obeyed the will of God of Allah what you have to stand for it so for me to be able to give us the enlightenment what is the article 42 what is the house bill concurrent resolution done uh, during the time of uh, Makapagal and uh, of course with Nene Pimentel and all these congressmen who signed so what this essence we give it to yeah. Raja Mamai to explain the house bill 42 so uh on the voiceover of uh, Raja Muhammad Gamal, Mama Yasan Abdurrajak, the Sultan of Sulu and North Borneo, to enlighten us about uh, this House Bill uh, 42. Yes, uh, go ahead, uh, Raja Mama, on a uh, voiceover. Assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Actually, this House Bill 42 was introduced by the 8th Congress. Makapagal, Rasul, his career, Tolentino, Tolentino and Lakshon. Especially the House Secretary Nene Pimentel and April 28, 1950. That the authority on that House Bill 42, that the legitimate Sultan of Sulu in North Borneo, which I am, 
the great great grandson Sharif al Sultan Gamal bin Abdul Gafar Jamal Rukiram the third Sultan Muhammad Gamal Muhammad Hasan Abdul Rajak is the right person and legitimate Sultan of Sulu North Borneo shall advise the President of the Republic of the Philippines to negotiate to try to inform the Queen of England for the restoration of the Royal Imperial Lupas Islamic United Kingdom of North Borneo because the Philippine government is only critical that they have to return all the sovereignty right we are ready for the transition for the people by the people to the people wow very well said that it is this mission is not a selfish mission but a clear picture that it's the benefit for the masses for all race for all people especially the people of the philippines right uh, princess that's why they are trying to negate and top leaders are being misled because of the packagers because of the conspiracy that they try to accuse us that ama ali sultan ismail ikiram is a fake but and also they tried to accuse Raja Mamai as a scam, as a faker. But the OPAP recognized the brother, Al Nasir Abdurrajak, who took the name Jamalul Alam Hiram III, which is together with President Gloria Arroyo, with <coughs> Abdul Karim Miswari. And now, the one who took the name of Sharif Usman is my other ama, no other than Sultan Kasimutin Jamalul Kiram Alam the Third in Tawaw, which is very recognized by Gloria Arroyo. So this is the reason why we have this book to prove to the world. And from here, the we can put it. justice in here. Because in here, I was able to divulge to the world the conspiracy authored by the government. This uh, uh, book uh, recommendation is your uh, original uh, recommendation, and uh, and uh, this is the point where the skeletal uh, framework before of the time of uh, President No No. Yes, is it's here. Died? Yes, it's here. Because, you know, to be able to do the, the, the peace talk, it involves the claim of the revolutionary uh, claimants, which is uh, the MNLF, Moro Na National Liberation Front, the Moro Islamic Liberation Front, the Bangsa Moro Islamic Freedom Fighter, including the BF, now we are together, they are together with the, these Murad groups that are now with the BARM. The BARM is only renamed after the ARMM and putting, of course, the claimant revolutionary leaders, which is Murad <laughs> and Miswari. So that's why this book really dissected who are the conspirators, who are the players in the destruction of the peace and order in Mindanao. So they made the peace talk as a passage. From there, we know that they could derive a lot of funding from the Organization of Islamic Conference, from Malaysia, and for those reasons... From Malaysia that we are right here now. We are in Malaysia because Sabah and Sarawak, <coughs> Kalimantan Bulungan is part of the Lupasug Kingdom. We are not claiming. We are here trying to help. That's why the 10 points is a very crucial part for the President of the Philippines to see the vital resolution to be made in this. So there you can see that I had been communicating with the House of Congress, with all the local agencies in the Philippines, especially the, the higher house and the... Yeah, you know that, Princess. You are part of that with Prince Mike 
on how really to communicate the to upper the, house yes, and, the, <laughs> and the lower house, even to Malacanang. You had carried that as minister of the, the information and communications. So you go even to the uh, commanding in chief of the armed forces. The, the, all the proper coordination. From with the, the national defense uh, secretary, uh, before with Gasmin and now with uh, uh, Lorenzana. So uh, the, the armed forces chief of staff, you are doing that. And I really commended you for really doing your job on that. So let's go to the second the, part. Yeah, on the, uh, on, uh, we are already finished the first. And then the second regarding this uh, part of uh, recommendation. I already told the president of the Philippines to be able to give that recognition and proclamation by virtue of the premise of the law because we tackled about the Article 42. It was the Congress and the Senate that have declared that the ownership of the sovereignty belongs to the Sultan of Sulu. But there are some misconceptions that they thought it was given practically to the government. No. The Sultan of Sulu remains its power. We were given it's the, the power West. and authority by virtue of the treaty. Remember, we have 300 years from Spain. It was carried on by the British North Borneo and then by the Mafilindo, which we will discuss that on the third uh, recommendation that we have. But the second, as I informed the government and informed the local agencies, the, 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 the importance of it is that there is a recognition and proclamation of the Philippine government through the president together with the joint body, the Senate and the House of Representatives with living witness, Sultan Sharif Usman, Dato Ismail Ali, Sultan Toron Lawan Dumaga, of the heirs and successors Raja Muhammad Gamar Mamay Hassan Abdurrajak, known as Al Sultan Gamar bin Abdul Kapar Jamalul Kiram III, and Queen Maria Makiling Helen Fatima Nasaria Panulino Abdurrajak, Jussi Mulan Elizabeth III. So, this is the thing that our government lacks because of that, still thousands of Sultan of Sulu and North Borneo are claiming. Why? Because it is the job of the president because they were given that power on that virtue of Article 42. So, I am daring the president to be able to get that power back. The government knows that the peace and order of Mindanao, Sulu, Palawan, to this Kalimantan, Sabah, Sarawak is to be gained back because the Sultan of Sulu is the grandson. I have been fighting that all along. So it has to be given to that point that it is the job of the Congress, the job of the Senate, and the President of the Philippines to give that valuable recognition and proclamation because anywhere in the world I have a prima facie and that is Sharif Usman, Dato Ismail Ali, Sultan Toron Lawan Tumaga, Sultan Muhammad Ismail Ikram. So, as, as a Ama Ali, the living witness for this submission. Yes, that's why I told you, first and foremost, I obeyed Allah. God up there and the one that is in Nampun that is really in the very heart of Allah as the the one direct descendancy from Prophet Muhammad is Ama Ali that's why people accuse me that because I was born as a Christian reared as a Christian they thought I have no right to become an Islam they are all wrong we have all the freedom yes. it's a freedom of religion yes that's why now in this mission i never used religion i used the privilege that we 
are all called to serve humanity. Everybody nowadays trying to say, oh, your queen is a scammer. Oh, your queen is not true. Your queen is nothing because you didn't see what is in my heart and what I have done. I dare again, all of you Kirams, all of you Alam, all of you that claims, I am here to really see to you, to let you see that I am a queen and I am to serve humanity. I am here in Malaysia because I know that in Sabah is the height and the place for the legality of battle and I fight you because I am still your queen. This is the battleground because uh, in the Philippines many are the, the claimant but the battleground is not in the Philippines because the the true heir is a Malaysian and which is a Raja Mama. Yes, that's why in Sulu if someone is close to me princess all this evil minded will come and destroy and poison the person to stay away from me so i really tell them don't worry one day they will all cry because what if i am indeed the one chosen to do this job in the releasing of the finance what if today tomorrow i have more money than yours because I sacrifice, I have put my humility in my perseverance to be able to reach this goal to save our people in the kingdom. And also in, in this mission, the relationship of Mapilindo, because we still, uh, you mentioned about the Kalimantan, the Sabasarawak, is still part of the Mapilindo. Yes, that's why Raja Mamai. Uh, from the day that uh, we were united when we were married he immediately told me that i am the queen of mapilindo why tungko abdurrahman putra alhaj in communion with our enchanted because my mom is an encantada enchanted yes i have my christian mom my dad and you cannot deny that. My lineage is put up into the world. You can find that in Google. I am a Raja Sulaiman. That's why they cannot blame me for really fighting back. I have blood like yours. And I am still the daughter of Allah. So the third point is honor the Mafilindo agreement. Because I am the landmark of that. I am born in July 3, 1963. That's why it's called MA 63. Maria Abdurrahman Agreement. Malaysia, Philippines, Indonesia Agreement. So, IPRA law is there all along, the 8371. And I am telling everybody that these are the laws agreement that needed to be revitalized to be renewed not the bandung treaty you will just all die because bandung treaty is a claim never the part of the royalty of the kingdom of lupasu so raja mamai can enlighten us can give us why it is an ma63 i'm maria so Raja Mamai can elaborate the Malaysian agreement. And also again with us is the voice over of Raja Mamai regarding the Banton Treaty and the relationship of Mapilindo and the Ipra role for the benefits of the indigenous people and all the people that not only the Philippines but including Malaysia and Indonesia. Yes, I'll go ahead. Uh, Your Highness King, Rajamamai. Audu billahi minash shaitani rajim. Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Actually, the ten recommendations which we made 
with the Queen of Mapilindo. And the House Bill 42, and the Bandung Treaty, and FPLO 8371, is overruled by the MA63. The MA63, it was signed, first signing in England on 31st July 1963 under Chapter 35, predecessor of law. Roadmap of the Federation of Malaysia that by the Queen of England that Malaysia is not a country. Name as a trust. That's why this is the proof. Malaysian government must honor it. You want your country to become a country. You have to recognize the legitimate great great grandson that I the Sultan of Sulu in North Borneo, that the replacer of the first Agung of Malaysia, the Ringgit Mani, which I am the great great grandson, before Malaysia would become a country. If not, you remain as trust. The proof is Bang Nagara, not an Malaysian country. Now this is the true one. Where the another treaty, another treaty signing on September 16, 1963, uh, that the three leaders, my great-great-grandfather, the first Prime Minister of Malaysia, Tungku Abdurrahman Putra Al-Hajj, Dios Dado Makapagal, President of the Philippines, Ahmad Sokarno of Indonesia. Three countries with time. The Philippines will protect the Mindanao Sulu in Palawan. Under caretaker, Mindanao Sulu in Palawan, that is Minsupala. While the Malaysia, the protector of the Sabah in Sarawak. Indonesia president, do not say that you made a new Indonesia, which is Kalimantan, you are against the law. Huh? You will be violating the rule of law that there is an MA63 that you cannot make Kalimantan as a new Jakarta. Remember, President of Indonesia, I warn you, because Kalimantan in Bulungan is a part of Lupaso which I am the Sultan of Sulu in North Borneo, and I will pile you National Court of Justice by informing World Bank and IMF for inventory and audit for the 50 years. If not, prepare for your resignation. That Philippine, Indonesia, Malaysia, no more political finish. The government is legal. But the political leader sitting in the government is illegal. I am not afraid now because Allah gave me authority that I am the descendant of Prophet Muhammad and I will implement the rule of law. No one is above the law. The people, by the people, to the people. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Very well said, uh, Raja Mamai, for the thanks for the enlightenment. And uh, go back, Your Highness, please, regarding also the part of this recommendation that now the king is not the the uh as not before now we see the different king that have the disposition the stand to speak for the truth because and with the with the substance because he's a malaysian he knows the law and he can really fight for it now why this was submitted in 12 12 12 september september we saw to it that all the government in the Philippines, the Senate, 
uh, the, the the House of Representatives, all of this, now the, even the Kagi Murad uh, groups, even, uh, you know, we were given this. So they made use of this book also. They thought that they can mislead us. So you see, because Mafilindo is Mafilindo, why did they go that time for the invasion of Saba? Because we submitted this book already to them and they saw the fight. They have the congressmen really derived from here. That's why they pushed. There was payment a lot of money to really to lobby for the framework agreement. A lot of congressmen knows because that time is uh, the congressman, former congressman Josephine uh, Dominguez, Lola Deer, was with us. It was her really that assisted me in this fight with the top level. So even she was the one who brought me to Aquino, to Noinoy. But of course, I said to them, it's not time yet. Because they were trying to push the Bandung Treaty because of MILF, because of Murad and Miswari. However, I created the National Liberation Front Southern Philippines to be able to be uh, synchronizing with the armed groups so that I could pull them up. Because, you know, I offered our, our uh, sentiments to them that it's only in unity we can win. So I offered this unification with with a group of Murad, but luckily with a group of Ombrakato. Before he died, he communicated to me that never at all sell Liguasan Mars. Never at all someone will drill Liguasan Mars because that is a holy place and an encanted uh, territory. Speaking on uh, your hand screen of Liguazan Mars, now is also a big issue that uh, Liguazan Mars have the investor from a uh, British uh, company. Can can you comment about it? Yes, I have really to stop it because Liguazan Mars is not an ordinary territory. Their enemy would be the the, the strongest uh, ancestors there. Besides, if they hit it. That is the vortex of the inverted volcano. They will have to sink the territorial domain of the entire Southeast Asia because Liguazan Mars is a UNESCO heritage uh, protected area. And they cannot do it without passing to the United Nations. So we need this. And I am, as a queen of environment, I will not allow any exploration because they will have to create another problem with the climate change. So you see, this is environmental issues. So even with the author of the Deuterium, uh, Dr. Hashimoto, is really giving me this input that never touch Liguas and Mars nor any part of the Deuterium because that will create wave that will create earthquake, that will create a lot of damages. So you will destroy the environment. But however, this government will listen to me. I can bring in and funnel a lot of money without exploration, without drilling, because we know how to do it. This is the good thing about our oil deposits. That's why they continuously us into war because of our oil, gas, deuterium, and our gold deposits, buried bunkers, all of this. They just uh, cover up the, the issue that uh, of war so that the natural resources will not uh, see on that uh, area? Yes, they are. that is their, their way of uh, covering us and getting it. You know this war is a business. They can derive a lot of money because of guns, bullets, funding uh, from, uh, you know, those that benefits with the oil. Because the oil vein of those Lake Wasamars. benefit with the economic support. <laughs> yes, it is extended up to Middle East. 
the, the source of oil is from Liguazan Mars. No doubt about that. Even at Borneo, even in Brunei. So, there is an illegal drillings, illegal pipe that has been done by America. This is what I know because I have uh, in contact with the divers in the past. So, I know well what is going on. Why they are trying to let unrest, no? I mean disorder in Maguindanao. Maguindanao is the seat of the oil field. So, they have the true lineage of Raja Sulaiman, which is Ama Pandala Pasandalan. So, that's why in there, in, in the fourth issue, create a consortium for oil exploration of the Spratlys mm -hmm. so that no more disputes among countries involved, especially the China government. All of this mm -hmm. oil of East Asia is because of the Bermuda, I call this the Bermuda, the world the Bermuda Triangle in Liguasa Mars. Nobody oh. knows about that. That we have this whirlpool, the, the triangular one. That yes, we have that. So that is the secret of Liguasa Mars. One can touch it because that is the pulling part of the deep sea going to Argetarium, that is in Surigao Strait, passing through Agusan Mars. So, did you know that the deuterium is just on top of the mountains, uh, there with the, 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 the natives? So, all of this we know because I had been dealing with them already. So, that's, that's one point. That's why I have asked the creation of the GBC, the Global Business Consortium, which both of you were here when we installed that and we have that uh, gathered a lot of chairperson from different countries. Uh, we've done that in March 23 in the Hilton, here also in Sabah. So, it's precisely, I am trying to gather a lot of corporations to join me for this matter. So that we could protect and do the scientific method on how to protect the oil field, the deuterium, the oil and gas. So that's how we, we are doing now. So at least at the same time about it has already in the pipeline to do it uh, properly not just in in one uh one of the click we cannot do that <laughs> that we can just accept somebody with no knowledge deeply about scientific about the methodology on how to take care of the gas and oil but however we cannot allow any drilling in Liquasan Mars nor any part of Mindanao for the moment. As of the moment? <laughs> yes, because of, you know, there is, I have really predicted that a long time. I mean, I'm not like other people that would say, stop. The, 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 <laughs> it's not that. The airplane. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I mean, you don't long, long, I, am, I don't have that power. The vibrator <laughs> to console it, the button. <laughs> <coughs> we don't have that. It's just, really believe because you know we are in communion with our people so okay, this is in line because of our oil field because of our asset speaking of the oil field how about the issue right now of the sparkly it's uh, a sparkly island do it still part of your uh, part of the 10 points recommendation when I was in China I was asked about that since that is covered by the, the sovereignty, we are just being waiting, waited to discuss this with the government of China. But I have my people dealing with it, so I do not need to be uh, making a lot of, uh, of comments about that because there are top level negotiations. I am a queen, so I have my people to do that. So Spratlys, all of this, it is being done. That's why we have created the, the framework, the Peace, Defense, Economic Development, Healthcare and Learning Program, and Renewable Energy. That's where they are coming in because by 2020, we have to sign the new agreement because all the agreements with the Sultan of Sulu and North Borneo and the, the Lupesul has been already expired. So that's why in uh, September 12, uh, 16, 2013, they, they went into so many wars from Sabah standoff, Sabuanga standoff, because they want 
the Bandung Treaty to continue claiming using Murad and Haji, uh, I mean, Miss Wari. Now that they are gone, so it is legitimately we know the rule and even the higher ups uh, on how to claim the funds. So they are still coming back to us. So with the Spratly, I have nothing to worry because the president of the Philippines is also aware of that, negotiating with the president, Xi Jinping. But because we had been in constant communication with the premier of China, for sure they knew that, and the, the prime minister of Malaysia, and congratulations, at least uh, Prime Minister um, Mahathir is trying to communicate with you and Prince Mike. See, so in that level, after that, Spratly and all of this, we can put harmony because in our fourth, in our fifth issue of the recommendation is give the freedom of the Bangsa Sub by letting the Sultan of Sulu and North Borneo fix the royal houses, the clans and the soldiers which are members of the Moro National Liberation Front, Moro Islamic Liberation Front, Bangsa Moro, Islamic Freedom Fighters, and other armed groups that needed to be rehabilitated in partnership with the armed forces of the Philippines. You see, from one to five, that is a consistent... Peaceful. Putting, yeah, peaceful. It, yes, it, it is a peaceful means on how we have to, to, to make the president realize the job Oh, I'll give it to Miswari. Oh, I'll give it to Murad. There is a law into it. And sovereignty is higher. The government of the Philippines must know that the law of sovereignty and ownership is back. And a political. Yes, we are not politicians either. So, you see, we have been trying to guide. But majority of MILF, MNLF, all of them, are now joining the Queen's fight for true path because they are the military of the new country, which is the Federal Republic of Lipesu. Uh, regarding uh, this, uh, the the peaceful uh, joining of the MILF and NLF in the AFP, so <clears throat> that the they will not be the the common uh, mainstream media mistake that they are against with our government, especially they are uh, they are the rebels that fight with the rules and law, the law and order of our country in the uh, Philippines. That is precisely the main point. We are all branded as rebels long, long before. But yet we are the owner of the sovereignty. We are the ones always at the loose end because they do not want us to do a role in our own land like in a, in a simple logic that in a big house you own the house but you live in the restroom yes <laughs> so we become a squatter of our own territory so now at least we know that the government must know so i am seeing what uh, President uh, Duterte is doing and of course some other groups are doing. So if we want really to succeed in this unification just one recognize, restored has been done, recognize the second point, honor the Mafilindo, create the consortium and now give the freedom of the Bangsa Su. The MNLF and MILF still cannot move without the Sultan of Sulu and North Borneo, without the Sultan of Magindana, without the Sultan of Lanao, without, but all of this Sultan, by virtue of the lineage, which are with us. With the royal blood. Yes, with the royal blood. So now they said, there are two categories of Sultans. The one appointed by the government of the Philippines, they are a political Sultan. But the Sultans that are with us, is with a lineage, is with by virtue of the territorial domain that they are now into dominion. That means I really went from one place to the other to really see to it that the Sultan 
they have is recognized by the people, respected by the people, like Sultan Kayulawan Pandala Pasandalan. That's why no one can get Ligwas on Mars because my brother is there as a Raja Sulaiman. And we have our own military being recognized by the armed forces of the Philippines because everywhere they go, they would say, oh, we are the soldiers of the king and queen. No. That's why I told you, Sulu cannot accept of who I am, but Magindana people loves me because Ama Ali has been there protecting Ligwas and Mars with me all along. But now, Ama Ali here in, in Malaysia. Malaysia. <laughs> yes, and I surprised the world. I surprised the world because Ama Ali is indeed the one that has been sought by the world. Because Ama Ali account in Vatican is being with our people now. They have really looked for Ama Ali. We, we had a voice, <coughs> uh, voice of reaction from Raja Mamai. This is my final uh, countdown. The hours of decision. <coughs> Yang Amat Barhormat, the Prime Minister of Malaysia, Tun Dr. Mahathir Muhammad. Please be advised. This Kasimuddin, Jamalul Kiran III, his identity is Salid bin Ali. How could become he become a Sarip Usman when Sarip Usman is now with me in Kota Kinabalu, Sabah? To prove. That's why the Prime Minister, Tun Mahadir, arrest this person. Duplicate Sarip Usman. He is staying in Tawau, Tanjung Batu Laut. It's arrest. It seems yeah. somebody assuming yeah. the identity. Assuming the identity of the living witness. Yeah, living witness. And also, the, the, the real name is Salim bin Ali. How could he get the name of Sarip Usman? When Sarip Usman is with me, uh, that is a what? That is one last warning. Arrest by order of the Sultan of Sulu in North Borneo. And also, Alnas, alias, Anas, bin Abdul Gapal, duplicate getting my name in the Philippines and my name here in Sabah. Where the lost and pound document, <coughs> administrator, Pedirico bin Musahari, holding the document, found in 1985. Don Mahadel, you know this guy. This guy is a dangerous man. Chief Minister Sapi Abdar knows this guy. Uh, they want also to be arrested. Pedirico bin Musahari. That document under my name as the great-great-grandson because my name appeared on January 3, 2003. Gamal alias Mamay. Why should you support Arnas alias Anas? Bin Abdul Gapal. Uh, Anwar Ibrahim, I don't want you to meet the wife of my brother. Please be advised. Mulia Pandikal Amin, Said Hamid Karwak, uh, Said Sali Karwak, jangan lagi buat barm barm. Habis sudah barm. Sekarang, is <coughs> told the Lupasuk, so that the ten Asian country could enjoy the asset of the Sultanate of Sur in North Borneo because the missing link is still alive. Sarip Usman in Kota Marudu, Sabah. Datu Ismail in Kota Batu. And the real Sultan of Sabah, Sultan Muhammad Ismail Kiram, known as the title Gaib. Sultan Turun Lawan Dumaga. <coughs> Dr. Mahadil, you are my idol. And from today onwards, you are the tiger of ASEAN. No one could challenge you. I am at the back of you. Arrest those people who are against you. The cabinet of Malaysia. <coughs> but there's no confidence. I am the one. You will be the Prime Minister for lifetime, as far as I am concerned, as the Sultan of Sulu 
innaud bonyo barakat la ilaha illallah barakat sin muhammad rasulullah wala haula wala quwata illa billahi aliyyul azim walhamdulillahi rabbil alamin very well said your royal <coughs> highness king that now that every time is a big revelation on us even though it's a voice over operation mama and to continue your in regarding uh, this uh, 10 point recommendation of uh, regarding <coughs> uh, because everything that we do is need funding do you have some also recommendation regarding the pending in fact that is the six <laughs> points you're very clever huh? that is the six points uh, uh that has been recommended release the funds of the sultanate of sulu and north borneo and the heritage accounts entrusted to queen maria makiling helen patimanasarya panolino of Turaja. you see uh, I just want to give some inputs of what Raja Mamai has said a while ago. All of those personality, it's all here. If you want to put justice, all of those people are all here. That's why they have been looking for the original documents because they cannot hide. <laughs> because, you know, we give this to them. And the Filipinos have the habit they just receive it and change the heading and change the, the, the one there. So they become their documents. It's uh, called Control C and Control B. Copy, paste. <laughs> <laughs> That's why. So I can charge them plagiarism. Even the OPAP did it. So now, even... Which OPAP? The OPAP now, time of our general guard best, or the OPAP before time of Dennis? The time Both. of the rest. but of course, <laughs> or the rest, <laughs> it has been carried out. But I am happy with uh, uh, our brother, the, the national security. He knows that we have been so uh, precise and uh, specific in our approach these days. Because you know, if you are not true, you can just easily <coughs> be misled by all these people. So release the funds. How to do this? So many are asking me, pushing me to the wall to open the warehouse and everything. It's like you're buying a lot of pops. <laughs> it's not that easy. You know, I had been laboring day and night. I had been working, going to the islands, even to Maria Makiling Mountain, to Sierra Madre. But you see, it's not easy. Why? If I release and get the gold, who will be the first to be killed? It's I. But now I told them, wait, because I will be going to Malaysia. First that we should release Malaysian ringgit. It is in the Philippines. It is in other parts. But now that we are here, and Raja Mama give that powerful authority now to the Prime Minister, so we can easily request all of those holder of Malaysian ringgit through the president of the Philippines to release the ringgit that has been looked, searched by Bank Nagara. Diba mas mabilis? This is now easy for us. Open! What are the heritage accounts? It's not me to go to the bank. We have the president of the Philippines to advise bank Central Bank of the Philippines. Also coordination with the government. Yes. The G2G still. Yes, that is the reason why we need the Mapilindo countries <laughs> to come and sit down with the king and queen because this is already a part of their job. So now, restoration, recognition, they had been looking everywhere to find the money. Restoration, recognition. Raja Mama is here given the full authority to Prime Minister Mahadir. So it is already there. So now, you see, all of these accounts, the accounts of the Sultanate of Sulu and North Borneo, the one in DBS, the one in Vatican, the one in, in, in all of this, it is the job now of the different countries to get that direct order from the Sultan of Sulu and North Borneo and from the Queen of Mapilindo and the Philippine Islands because even the old man 
the strongest <coughs> man of the Philippines is still alive. And the they, missing link. The missing link is Ama Ali and his brother Chuatayli. So what more do we ask? Chuatayli and their father in China? But I told those people, it's not me to do it. Because there is a way how to do it. And I have someone to do it for me. So when we want to do and release the funds, this is financial people. And I have my personal uh, advisor to do it. As my cousin, he has to do it. So the financial expert. Yes, because I, am that, I have not studied about this this thing but we will not uh, for the security reason we will not reveal the name of that yes of expert. course and that's why i told the president of the philippines you want money you had been trying to bring all of this some of them are arrested in china and i know all of those but of course those are things into them but they have been going everywhere they don't know that the queen is tasked to do it but it's not the queen to go inside the bank it's them that's why Raja Mama said give an order but now he gives an order so if the president of the Philippines will not act on it now the, the, the Sultan of Zulu give the authority to the Prime Minister of Malaysia the Prime Minister of Malaysia in the past going to Zulu to get an authority that's why they make a lot of mess putting the war putting the invasion Paputok, paputok para ibigay sa atin ang sovereignty, which they did not succeed. So, now, what we are going to do? Open the oil field for the rest of the world to see that that is a UNESCO protected area and Liguasan Mars 